Got a new project, yeah. Super excited, got a sweet deal on this thing. There she is. Huh? Oh yeah. That thing is sweet, huh? It's blue. I'm doing it for my daughter. So, might have to change that, which is kind of a shame because it's actually in pretty good shape. I don't know a ton about these things, whether it's a tailor tot or if it's a they have a different different name. I'm gonna redo it. I uh, might still keep like the robin's egg blue color, or I might keep it like this and just try to restore it without actually taking off any of the original stuff. Just cleaning what's there, um, making it cool. It actually works really well the way it is right now. It rolls really good. Um, yeah, it's really cool. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Do a little work to it. Uh, I don't know for sure yet, like I said, if I'm gonna paint it or if I'm gonna leave it alone. Um, you guys got any suggestions, let me know. I was thinking it'd be kind of cool to kind of leave it old school looking. It has been painted before, you can tell. If you look underneath of it, you can see like somebody brushed some paint on there. It was a darker blue. Um, be kind of cool to do that and maybe chrome some things on it, leave it kind of old school with some new on there. Um, or I might just redo the whole thing and paint everything, so. That's a new project. If there's any experts out there that know where I can get some cool parts for it or anything like that, if you got any cool ideas, let me know. All right, well, that's it. Did you see that? You see that thing? Right. Thing's pretty sweet, huh? Thought I was gonna leave you hanging on that one. Wouldn't leave you hanging. No, that, that really is my new project, but this thing you probably seen in my video yesterday, hopping, hopping like crazy. But the, uh, the guy that bought it uh, lives in Minneapolis. I'm in Des Moines, it's about a three and a half hour drive. He brought down a U-Haul trailer small one and this thing is just too heavy for that u-haul trailer so he needed a place to store it um, so he can go back home and get a bigger trailer so i i said he could store it in here which i just enjoy looking at the thing so i i got no problem with letting him use the garage i just kicked my lincoln outside like screw that thing it can sit out in the rain <laughs> this thing is pretty cool to look at let me grab a light and look underneath of it yeah. Thing's got a pretty crazy lockup. Good idea on the ball joints there. Double nutted. Now this thing did break at the show. Uh, the control arm over on that side did break off the, I think they call it like the dog bone or something like that. Broke. But it's still, it's holding on there well enough to move it on and off a trailer. Tie rods are a little, a little twisted. Looks like it keeps up on the oil. This thing is just has a crazy amount of work into it to be a hopper. I mean, just a nutty amount of work. I don't wanna pop the hood and all that stuff, but it's got chrome hinges. Chrome cylinders, I mean, chrome transmission cross member. A lot of work has went into this car. A lot of money and a lot of work. Frame is all reinforced. Um, it does have a crack in it though, which, I mean, wouldn't be a, a super huge deal because you could lift the body off of this and fix this crack. <laughs> But it does have a crack. As you can see right there, it is cracked. It goes all the way up. And it's on both sides. Right 
probably can't see that, but it's on both sides. So it's definitely cracked. <laughs> no ifs, ands, or buts about that. But um, really wouldn't be a huge deal. I, mean, I know that the, the door gap's a little, little funky here, but it is a chop top. Kind of got to expect that on something like this when you're hopping it like crazy. This must have been the original color, and then they added all these patterns and flake stuff to it. Like I said, really nice job. A lot of work. They even gold leaf the frame. Um, check out these mounts. These mounts are kind of cool. Like I said, I've, I've never looked at a hopper this close. Mounts for the control arms are further up on the frame. As you can see, the that's the lowers, that's the uppers. So they're pretty close to each other. And they are long. I mean, those suckers are long. That's what she said. I mean, the dude even, whoever did this, I don't know. If anybody knows who actually did this car, let me know. But even the gas tank has patterns on it. I mean, just good job, whoever did that. Chrome drive shaft. I mean, even the underside is flaked. This is nutty to me, living in Iowa. No rust. So it definitely didn't spend all its life in Iowa. Brake boosters flaked. Oh, it just got a six cylinder in it. That's cool. A little less weight. Got springs. I'm guessing the springs are just so you can either pull the front tires up or so when you hit the, when it's up in the air and you hit the dump side of the switch, it actually pulls the cylinders up. Because otherwise, like if your car's in the air and your cylinders are hanging there and they have pressure and you hit the dump, the fluid really doesn't return back to the pump. So maybe that's so you don't have to time it as well. You can just hit the dump while it's up in the air, whenever. It takes enough fluid out of the cylinder and puts it back in the tank. So all you have to time is when the tires hit the ground and the suspension compresses, and then you can hit the switch and, and bounce it back up. That's what I'm assuming it's for. Um, because I don't think you get, I thought it was maybe just to gain a couple extra inches when it's up in the air. I don't know. I'm guessing it's so you don't have to time it as well. But whoever actually knows, feel free to tell me. Yeah, see, the arm broke right there. That's it right there. Broken. Broke in. But, I mean, that's what you get. Flaked, striped. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So you're probably wondering how heavy could a 70, what is it, 79 Monty? Training day Monty? How heavy could a training day Monty really be? Well, it can be real heavy. I mean, real heavy. Super heavy, if you consider that. That's that's a lot of weight, a lot of weight. No way around that. One, two, three, four. Got four bars, but then it's got another big plate underneath of that. And then whatever that thing is, I don't know if that's full of lead or full of steel, 
but that's just weight. I'm guessing that's lead. Yeah, I'm guessing that's just melted down lead. I'm not a scientist, but I tasted it, tastes like lead. So it's hefty. And then it's got a big bar underneath of the car. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a freaking gas tank. That thing is nutty. As long as you're not like pulling up on somebody saying it doesn't have weight. Just want to have some fun. Go for it. But I'm guessing that's why the frame cracked. Because that's a lot of weight for this little car. Especially with no roof. Or roof, however you want to say. So yeah, it's got some weight. Got a big old piston pump. Yeah. Nice freaking dump, man. Nice. Yeah, that's probably how I would fix this. I would clamp onto the frame down here to the frame machine that it's gonna have to be on. Um, or if you have a massive floor tie down, like buried in your concrete floor to where you can hook it to, you could tie the frame down there and then push up on the frame in the back. Because I'm guessing that's what's happening is all the weight that's in the back is, is sagging the back of the frame down. That's what's causing it to crack right there. So if you actually pulled up on that, uh, if you had a frame machine, you could hook a chain onto the very back, take the rear bumper off, hook onto it, and pull the back of the car up while this is tied down, bring that back together, and then loosen up the body on this side, lift the body up, and weld the frame. Um, you could even plate the top of it if you wanted to, make it a little stronger. It's probably never gonna be as strong as the day it was fully wrapped, but Kind of the name of the game, right? That's what you do. So, Mr. New Monte Carlo owner, sweet car, really nice car. I was happy to let you use the garage because I just enjoyed looking at it. So, hopefully, I'll see this thing back out in the streets. I don't drive in the streets, but. Hopefully it'll be at some shows, some competitions, having fun. Because this thing gets up there really good. Uh, it, uh, it does what it's supposed to do every time. Fun to watch. So there it is. But seriously, that, that is actually my new project. Not as exciting as this, but... To me, it's still pretty cool. So if anybody's got any tips or is an expert on those things, let me know. Give me some ideas. Um, should be a lot of fun. I better hurry up because my, my daughter's two, so clock's ticking. <laughs>